you can detect, you can see. Right, sit still and then look at the changing scenery. Please also notice that as you are progressing in your practice, your mental space becomes more clearer, more apparent. The mental space, I refer to the silence in your head, silence from Jerry, and the stillness in your heart. Is still from the disturbing of Jerry. So notice that too, so that you can understand the cause and the effect. The peace and the calm, it doesn't come out from nowhere. It has the root, the cause. It got the middle, which is the practice and you got the end ending. Okay? Now next, I'd like you to use your one hand fingers to press onto your fingernails. One at a time, from your thumb. Now slowly, Increasing the weight, you're touching your nails with the light weight and then slowly increase the weight until you press them very hard. Now this is the way to polish your mental eyesight. Okay? To make it become the sharper eyes so that it can have the better ability, efficiency, to detect something that is more difficult to detect, such as Jerry or your thoughts, which enter your mind at a very staggering speed. So the whole idea, the whole purpose is because Jerry is the problem. Just do it with your 10 fingers, okay? One at a time. And listen carefully. The whole idea is for us to understand the working of Jerry. How Jerry work in a head, in a heart. Because Jerry, as I said, is the only one, the one and only culprit that humanity has. Jerry, which is the natural element in nature, just like earth, water, wind, gold, diamond. But this is a formless element which working like a master chef, proliferate, expanding, building, creating in your head, both good and bad, of course. So we want to understand how Jerry work in our head. So this is the stage that we are Preparing the tool, the essential tool. That essential tool is your mental eye to make it in a very good state, make it very sharp so that you can use this essential tool to learn, to detect, to make observation of Jerry so that we can understand how Jerry works scientifically. 
which is the practice of the third foundation of mindfulness. The third foundation is to make observation of Jerry for a long period of time. But before we can get to that stage, the Buddha said that get your tool ready first. And that tool is your mental eyes or your sixth sense. I will talk about sixth sense later. Okay, so I explain ahead to help you understand why we need to polish a mental eye sight. Now bend your fingers back and forth slowly. Bend your fingers, make your four fingers, bending your four fingers slowly. Okay, so this is the reason why we need to polish our mental eyesight so that we can make this tool bright and ready to work in the advanced state of making observation of Jerry so that we can learn Jerry, how Jerry work in the most scientific way objective way. Now once you can understand how Jerry works, you can deal with it. Right. Next, can you massage your temple slowly? Detect as much detail as possible. Breathe deeply from time to time. Also spot your mental space, the silence and the stillness. Massage or stroke your ears. Smack your face. Vipassana, looking, viewing your inner sight. Can you see how simple it is? This practice, we haven't actually added any additional object into this life form. Not at all. Everyone all have all this simple, basic element with them. The only thing that is new is the Buddha's wisdom, which I simplify for you to help you to understand. But you still know your breathing, movement, sensation, the same as before, but with the full intent, full concentration, that is a bit of extra that you do. That's all. And can you see that with the, just this little extra bit of effort of concentration, it can change how you feel inside. And you see that all your mental chapters, your mental monologue, 
it's all thin down, slow down until it disappear and shine forward <coughs> as the silence. You see that Jerry is all gone. You see that all the rough edges in your heart, in your chest area, now is replaced with the calm, the peace, the tranquility. And Jerry is all disappeared. I want to believe so. So I want you really to see the scientific side of this practice. I haven't, I don't offer you any belief. I simply explain the working of this natural element that already have in our life form. And then guide you into a practice with better concentration, that's all. And the result that come out is the peace, the calm, the tranquility, the in control that every one of us all yearn for. When you tell people, just leave me alone, just give me some space or give me a bit of peace and quiet, you do not actually mean give you the physical space. You actually mean you want your mental space. You want the peace, the quiet, the stillness in your heart and the silence in your head. And you see that we are playing around all these words, but we don't know how to do it. And today is your lucky day because I told you exactly how you can do it. How? The answer is bring your mental self back home. Take the medications. Do Vipassana, the full foundation of mindfulness. That's all. And I have delved into the detail exactly how you do it by using the analogy of a mental self and bring your mental self back home. So ideally, you should or you must bring your mental self back home all the time. Whether your physical eyes are closed or open, doesn't matter, you've got to do it all the time. And this is a skill. The more you do, the better you get. Don't give in to Jerry. Right, once again, smack your face. Your arms. before you open your eyes. Your mental space referring to the silence in your head and the stillness in your heart, in your chest area due to the absence of Jerry. Now you must recognize the experience of your mental space so that when Jerry come in to roam about in your house one wild and bully you, attack you,